Good morning, and welcome back to Daily Dhamma, a letter to our children. Today is December 2nd, and our reading is Poise, Pose, and Posse. Poise, noun, one, a state of balance or equilibrium. Pose, verb intransitive. One, to affect or assume a particular character, especially with a view to the impression made on others. Two, to present oneself insincerely. Posse, noun, one. A group of people out to enforce their will on others, usually under color of law. There's a big difference between being good, seeming to be good, and forcing folks to pretend we are good. Best keep our hands to ourselves and concentrate on minding our own business. <laughs> It's kind of a slippery slope there. You know, we go from being balanced or in a state of equilibrium, cool, you know, just kind of hanging out, to pretending to be cool and trying to make an impression on other people, have them think that we're cool, uh, which is the height of insincerity. I, somebody said, Sincerity is really important. Once you learn how to fake that, you pretty well got it down as far as dealing with other people. You can blow smoke up anybody's dress. So acting cool instead of being cool. And then a posse that runs around and, and, and forces people to sing Hosanna to you. You know, they, this, is, this is one of the problems with the, the mass movements. Stay away from these people. Those social media that, you know, everybody who's cool will go eat Tide Pods or, you know, some crazy crap. Go punch strangers. That'll, that'll be good for clickbait. These are things that are they're really unbelievable. People do it all the time. And uh, they, don't, they don't start out that way. You know, we, we, there's a thing about judgment. It, judgment's got a bad reputation, I think. I, I tried to teach, we tried to teach our kids judgment, and I, I taught my students judgment for, for sure. You need to choose, you need to discern right from wrong. And, and when we decide to do this instead of that, we are making a judgment that that is inferior to this. That's, that's what we've, we've voted with our actions by doing that. So it's, it's not that, that we're not supposed to make judgment. It's that we're not supposed to condemn other people for not agreeing with our judgment. That's, that, that's the deal. And those are, those are really different. The, the idea that, that if you've got 51% of the people that you can, you can loot the other 49% is really pernicious. And it, it if we want to have a liberal democracy where we have limited government, where people have maximum freedom while respecting the rights of other people, then we're going to have to uh, take a look at these things. Posses are probably the wrong way to go about things, don't you think? We, we, we think so. Instead of pretending to be good, how about show some poise and actually be good? That would work. And then go back to Krishna on this, selfless, selfless service. We, we have to act without any idea at all about a, an outcome or a reward or anything else. Do the, do the next right thing and leave it at that. Doing the right thing is its own reward and it's reward enough. I've, I missed something on, on yesterday. Welcome to December. I can't believe it's the last month of the year, and we're really happy to have you here. We're still trying to figure out what we're going to do after the end of December. Probably continue, uh, but exactly what form that's going to take, we have no idea.
Thank you for joining us. And if you'll check the description box below, you'll find the table of contents for the book Daily Dhamma Letter to Our Children, which is available on Amazon, and also the contents of the 11 playlists here on YouTube. And happy trails to you until we meet again.